Hello everyone and welcome back to Sketch by Sketch. Today I'm going to be doing the front cover and the back cover of my ELO sketchbook because I just finished this up and I'm really excited to do this today. So let's get started. I'm just going to be drawing the same character on both pages. I'm going to use a pencil here and as you can see I'm struggling with the pencil sharpener. I don't know what in the world was wrong with this thing. I just left the footage in because I thought it was funny but if anyone knows what would be wrong with this pencil sharpener comment down below because i tried to sharpen this pencil for like three minutes and i didn't even see any lead in it stuck or anything like that so i don't know what in the world is wrong with this thing it was kind of funny but anyways i got a pencil sharp enough to start drawing so like i said we're going to draw the same character i'm going to design a new character you've never seen this character before um and as far as that goes, I would love to get some name requests down below because she turns out so cute and I would really love to draw her again. And you guys are always fun at participating and all this stuff. So give me some name ideas or anything about this character that you want to comment down below. And you might be wondering why I'm drawing the first page in my sketchbook after it's already finished. I don't know. This is just something that I've been doing the last few times um, so that the characters kind of look the same. Um, I'm not sure it's just something that I do so um, I do the front and the back at the same time So I just leave it blank and then when I'm finished it's kind of like a satisfying thing to just kind of complete it and um, Finish it up so I'm trying to do a little bit of a pose here But nothing too crazy because I want this to look nice for the front cover So I'm not trying anything too um, insane here um, just a cute little pose and at this point, I wasn't sure what I wanted my character to look like. I just kind of was sketching it out. And then I started looking at some pictures of outfits and things like that. And I kept seeing these um, suits, like suits and skirts um, that were like brightly colored or patterned or something like that. And I just thought that was so fun. So I kind of wanted to go for kind of like a, a Barbie vibe. So that is the plan for the drawing. Um, and usually what I do is I just pick a color scheme and then I do some lettering and I write the number of this sketchbook. This is number six. Um, I can't believe I finished that many ELO sketchbooks. Um, but uh, yeah, and then I just write that on the side. So um, definitely if you haven't seen my other sketchbook videos, definitely go check those out. These are really fun videos and they're just kind of satisfying to watch. Um, if you haven't seen my last video I posted, I uh, colored or painted on rather uh, the cover of this ELO sketchbook so it's really finished now and um, as you probably guessed the next video which should be coming next Wednesday will be the sketchbook tour those are my favorite videos to film edit post I think you guys love them too it's just so fun to go back through and talk about the drawings and what I like about them what I don't like uh, how I've improved and of course you guys can get some inspiration as well so stay tuned for that if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss that because it's gonna be really fun and I tried to go like really trendy with this character like the hairstyle and everything just because I mean if I was going for the kind of fancy Barbie pink vibe. I thought I had to just go for it and do it all the way. So I gave her clips in her hair and then really long and straight and kind of layered. And then the big hoop earrings. I also think her face just turned out really, really cute. And I just, I just love this drawing, like the entire thing. I just think it's really adorable. I can't wait to draw this character again in my new sketchbook. I have actually at this time already started my new sketchbook. Um, and there is going to be a shorts video coming out with the first drawing that I did in it. The pencil I'm sketching with here is a Crayola color race. No, it's not. It's just a Crayola colored pencil. Um, I don't always sketch with my Prismacolor color race. That's what I was kind of mixing up there. Um, I don't always sketch with those. I don't know. Sometimes I just gravitate towards the brighter, more vibrant colors of the Crayolas. Um, I don't know. I just decided that purple was the color today. And sometimes I think that the Prismacolor sketching pencils get almost like a hard texture to them. And when they, they don't lay on the page as smoothly, I think just because the Crayolas are 
made for children's coloring and coloring books they're a lot uh, smoother when they go on now of course like the actual Prismacolor coloring pencils are very smooth they are too smooth to sketch with in my opinion just because they blend um, so easily you can smudge them just while you're sketching and it turns into a bit of a mess so all of that aside I'm sketching with a Crayola colored pencil and I definitely recommend them and if you don't even have a set of them um, I would pick one up um, I know it seems like something that you know if you're going to do more not professional but more you know professional themed art then that would not be something that you would really want but I definitely recommend them I think that they are awesome for sketchbooks and you can really add pops of color that way and I think they're really fun to use so I definitely recommend grabbing some here I'm trying to figure out what number sketchbook this is. This is kind of funny doing a voiceover watching myself have no idea what I'm doing half the time. Um, so yeah, finally figured out it was sketchbook number six. <laughs> and here I'm trying to find a date on when this sketchbook was started. And I wasn't very good about putting dates on things apparently, so I just kind of guessed. Um, so uh, it was around that time. Um, it's not specific, but it was around that time. And then... Of course, when I finished it would be the day that I'm doing this drawing. I think the speech bubbles are really cute on this. I usually do different designs on how I do my lettering, and I just thought that the look of this drawing, the speech bubbles, looked really cool. It honestly just reminds me so much of a Barbie movie. I, I know I keep saying that, but like a New York Barbie. It's cool. So I'm just finishing up the sketch and then we're going to do our liner and then we're going to be good to start coloring my favorite part. Alright, liner. I wasn't even going to show you any bits of this, but it's just so cute. This liner is just adorable. I was going to completely cut it out and then I started doing it and I was like, oh my goodness, I love this drawing so much. And now that I'm looking back on it, I love it. Um, I think the liner in this just turned out really cool. I've been kind of struggling with line art lately for some reason. I don't know. It's just not really been flowing as well as it usually does. The sketchy technique has been kind of looking a little messy lately. I've not been really paying attention to where I'm putting the lines and I've just kind of been haphazardly doing it and this time I put a lot more thought into it because it is the first page of my sketchbook and it really turns out super cute. I love the shadows and the cross hatching and just those little details that make it really interesting to look at so definitely um, spend time on the liner even though it's not very fun I don't like doing it but it is an essential step and your drawings are going to look a lot better if you spend more time on this step the coloring is just going to look more vibrant just really love the way this piece is turning out and honestly I know this outfit is pretty bold but I kind of want a pink suit jacket now. This is just awesome. Well, you'll see it turns pink in a little bit. I'm gonna color it, but I'm just looking at it and it's just so cool. This character is awesome. All right, enough of the liner. Let's move on to coloring, the fun part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little pad of paper and as I select colors for this character, I'm going to write them down. Um, and here's the color charts and things like that so I can know what number to write down and things like that. Um, I'm using a hoo hoo markers by the way but the reason for writing them down like I'm doing right here as you can see is for when I draw this character again especially today when I'm drawing it on the last page or if I draw her again in another sketchbook spread I'll know exactly what colors to use so she's gonna look the same every time that I draw her. So um, a hoo hoo markers come in multiple sets, but they do not overlap in the color names, just like Copics. So that really makes them nice to use. So I can write down these colors and taking them from different sets, but I'm not going to have to worry about getting them confused with something else. So like always, I'm starting with the blush the pink tones. Um, I'm not sure at this point, I wasn't sure what I wanted this character to look like. I wasn't even sure about the hair color or anything yet. But I knew that I wanted to really bring in the pink tones to the skin. So what I'm doing is everywhere that there would be sun hitting her, I'm adding a blushy, kind of sunny glow. And that's what the pink color is doing. So it's really just going to make the drawing pop, make the colors stand out a little bit more. 
so um, that's why I do that. I do that in almost all my drawings, but this time I add a little bit more of that pink color. Okay, now I like to go in with an actual skin tone over top of all of that. Um, I'm going to make this skin a little tanned, um, but definitely keeping those um, pink tones, so I, I don't want to make it too dark. I want to be able to see those. And remember to be really careful here that you don't smudge the line art. I've done that many times and it's not fun. Alright, now I'm going to go in with a darker tan color. You can see the color names that I'm using right there. So if you have a hoo, -hoo marker, so you can follow along right along with me. Um, I tried to really strategically place these colors. So this is a really good... Um, skin tone to use so if you want to just look at those colors and follow along it's great colors to use together all right so I'm having the Sun kind of come from the left side of the page a little bit behind her so that that right side is going to get really sunny and um, light and highlights if that makes any sense so I'm kind of just you know making that light source be on the left side so that I know where I can put highlights and shadows Now I'm going in with just a little bit more shadows, really uh, making the cheekbone pop, kind of contouring the nose. You can sometimes uh, think of this coloring as makeup. If you do a lot of makeup um, and all the contouring and stuff like that, then um, it, it kind of makes sense a little bit when you're adding those colors where you would put something like that. So that's a fun way to think of it. So I guess where you would put like bronzer on your face is where you're going to put these more tanned colors on your drawing. Also, I'm adding some eyeshadow, um, just more of like a smoky color with some dark brown, and I think that looks really beautiful. Sometimes I match, if I do like that smoky eye color, I match that to the eyebrows. I just think it looks more finished that way, and I think it's really pretty. That's what I did there. All right, now I'm going for the lipstick. I wanted to go for like a lip liner, nude lip color situation thing, so um, I just went in with some... Um, lighter colors some more tan colors I did not want this to be bright pink I wanted the makeup part of this character to look really natural and like skin tones so I'm going in with just really desaturated pinks I don't want it to be too bright if you know what I'm saying all right and then I added like the lip liner and then I'm just going to go in with another color and kind of blend that in just a little bit Now I'm going to start on the hair. I'm going to go for kind of like a dusty brown color. Um, not too saturated, but I don't want it to look gray. So I'm just going in with kind of like a, uh, almost like a rose, dusty rose color. Um, and that's just going to add that little bit of saturation without making it look too bright, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going in and adding that into the hair. I love drawing long straight hair. It's my favorite thing to draw. Um, I just think it's so pretty and you can really add in the shadows and highlights when you don't have to worry about the curls of the hair and things like that. So typically when I'm just choosing hair for a character, I will most likely gravitate towards long straight hair. I'm gonna preserve a little bit of that white um, space there just for highlights i think it looks really pretty when there's a highlight in the hair even if it's dark you still want to leave a little bit of white space now i'm going to go in with a darker color and start at the roots and just start blending that into the hair sorry my hands in the way you can't really see what i'm doing but I pretty much do the same thing for every drawing that I do, so I have tutorials and things like that if you really want to know what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just creating strands of hair, blocking off that section where it would be in a shadow, and then I'm blending it up from the tips as well, preserving the white highlight. This color is a little more saturated, but it's still keeping it 
kind of, you know, that desaturated tone. I'm trying to keep everything other than the outfit really basic and really kind of, I know I keep using the word desaturated, but that's the word that makes sense in this situation. So I'm keeping everything really plain, um, still adding in the shadows and highlights and really blending it well, but we really want the outfit to pop. So keeping everything a little bit toned down. And then I'm going in with a little bit of a darker tone just to finish that off. All right, now the part we've all been waiting for is this pink suit that I've been talking about. I started off with a bubblegum pink, like bright pink color to get this going. I think it's so pretty. I just, I love pink. Pink is an awesome color. Um, and I just think it really looks good with the skin tone and the hair color. Um, so I'm just going in and I'm going to completely fill in this outfit. Um, I want it all to be the same color. It's just a matching suit. Really fun. So I'm going to go in and do that. If you watched my Inktober videos, I did a character uh, wearing like a plaid checkered suit and skirt. And you guys loved that. So um, I think there might be something to this. This is really fun to draw and I think it looks really cute. And it's just kind of a simple outfit. I don't really like drawing pants. Um, it's just harder for me. I usually just put my characters in skirts or dresses. I know that's something I need to work on, but sometimes it's just a little bit easier to, you know, just not have to actually draw the body and just cover it with a skirt. But, um, of course, if you just want to draw something quickly, it's easier and it's always something fun to draw. Okay, now I'm going to get like more of a hot pink color to um, blend this in and start adding shadows and I really want this suit to be pink so I'm gonna add this hot pink to make it pop a little bit more um, so this is where it gets really fun and I'm really really loving this color it's honestly making me want to paint my nails like really really pink um, I just I just love this color and by itself this pink color um, is has a little bit of like a reddish tone, but once I put it over top of the already bubblegum pink um, base layer, it, it doesn't have that reddish tone and it just looks bright and colorful. And I'm making sure to add in all the folds of the suit jacket. It's a loose fitting item, so there's going to be lots of folds in the fabric. Keep that in mind when you're drawing uh, fabrics and things like that. It's a heavy material, so um, it, there's folds in it are going to be more prominent and their shadows are going to be um, more noticed on it so make sure you add those in and now I'm just going in with the last color I'm going to use on this suit I'm using this one sparingly because it definitely has a red tint to it and it kind of blends out when you add the other colors but I really just don't want this to look red so I am really um, keeping it light with that tone Now I just got to color in her awesome gold jewelry, really simple there. And then we're going to finish this first page up by adding in the kind of background. I'm not really going to do a background, but I'm just going to, you know, go in, outline these letters and things like that just to make it pop a little bit more. And I think light blue really goes with this pink color, so that's what I chose to use. This is usually my go-to background, just kind of some geometric pattern with the color that goes well with the character, I guess, and that's typically what I do in my sketchbook. It's just really easy, and I just think it's so simple that it looks good. And of course, I'm adding a little bit of pink just to really tie everything in together well. All right, she's so cute. Now let's move on to this one. I didn't show you the sketching or line art process just because you just saw me create this character. And this coloring process is going to be about the same. 
um, just because I made that color chart and I'm going to be using the exact same colors. But I think this version of her turned out really cute as well. Um, it looks like her still. Um, it's really fun when you design a character that has a look and um, you can kind of duplicate that. So this is really fun to draw her again. I love the hair, love the outfit, the face looks cute. I think this one just turned out just as good as the first one and I really, really love this. Alright, now I'm just finishing this one up the same way I did the other one. Oh my goodness guys, I just this is my favorite sketchbook I think so far as far as the front and back cover page. I just really, really love these colors together and I can't wait to start my new sketchbook. Just to really finish the sketchbook off, I'm just going to do a quick little pattern on these um, yellowed pages. Um, this is nothing you know crazy this is just super simple but I just think it's cute and it just is fun and adds a little bit more to the sketchbook and just kind of ties everything in gives it all a theme um in my front and back cover or I guess just the front cover that I painted on um also uses these pink and blue colors so everything just kind of goes together and I really really love that Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I had a lot of fun. I really hope you were drawing along with me. Comment down below what you were drawing and tell me what you want to see in my new sketchbook. I want some ideas um, to make some really awesome videos for you guys. So hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you next time for the sketchbook tour. Thanks guys. Bye.